What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. I hope you got your Thor tickets this morning and we did indeed get a brand new TV spot that was absolutely rad. There's some really cool stuff going on in the VFX in the final battle. But the Easter egg that we're going to talk about today has in fact been in the trailers since one of the first ones release. And so much so, staring us all in the face with the continual clips they keep releasing, I was almost certain I was going to log on YouTube any day over the last two weeks and see somebody else cover this Easter egg first. Alas, it hasn't happened, and so we have to talk about what is very clearly Zeus's Thunderbolt being used as a weapon by Valkyrie, and how this is one of the very first clear Easter eggs for none other than Wolverine in the MCU. I'm going to go ahead, paint the picture, connect all the dots, and explain how one leads to the other. What I believe is one of the very first Phase 4 Marvel Easter eggs for none other than Wolverine himself. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. That's all we do. If you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below, it'll help you better keep up with the content, but also automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway, which we are running up to a million subscribers. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so first things first, there is nothing more synonymous with Wolverine other than his claws than the things that they're made out of and is the rest of his skeleton coated in a metal called adamantium. Now, adamantium is not actually a metal at all to fill you in and get you up to date on your Marvel metallurgy. It was created by an American scientist who during World War II actually accidentally created the vibranium steel compound that went on to create the shield used by Captain America, but could never duplicate the process and somewhere along the way created adamantium in the 1960s. Now, we're not sure how the MCU is going to handle the backstory for adamantium, and currently in the MCU, the only metal used by name is that of vibranium, and even the lay Marvel fan knows exactly of vibranium and what its story is in the MCU. You don't need to brush up on that, but one point I do want to make quickly is that who knows how much vibranium exists and where outside of Wakanda and we do know that the US government has a way of tracking it given the scenes we saw during WandaVision, but more on S.W.O.R.D. in a minute. Now, while adamantium is not actually a metal or even a natural element, in fact, it's a composite resin whose formula is heavily guarded by the US government created by metallurgist Dr. Myron McLean, again, trying to recreate what he did with the vibranium experiment to make the shield and wasn't successful with that. It was specifically named after the adamantine of Greek mythology a virtually indestructible steel alloy. Now in the prologue, I called it by one of its AKAs in Thunderbolt, but quote, Zeus's lightning bolt, thunderbolt, or master bolt is the signature weapon and symbol of power of the Olympian god of thunder, Zeus, and it is said to be the most powerful and feared weapon on earth or in the heavens. Well, we don't know about that. I might be quick to say that Stormbreaker, and regardless of the hierarchy of weapons in the Marvel universe, that lightning bolt, AKA thunderbolt, is what we see Valkyrie wielding at the end, presumably the final battle of the film. Hey, they put in the trailer, not me. I'm just calling it how I see it. Also, the fact that she's wielding it probably does not bode well for Zeus. But what I will say is that number one, specifically during this scene, but really throughout all the trailers, they have made it look like this lightning bolt is made out of metal. Perhaps that mythical metal adamantine from which adamantium draws its comic book origin. And number two is there's a good chance if she's using this weapon to any effect, success, and victory, that that weapon is going to follow her back to New Asgard. A New Asgard that presumably is in rubble after the Berserkers attacked out of Gore's sword. No, we haven't talked about that at the channel, but but just trust me. Now, the point I'm making about the U.S. government coming into this lightning bolt that may be made out of the adamantine that leads directly to Wolverine's adamantium. Remember, Vision's body would have been in Wakanda, somehow made it back to S.W.O.R.D. under S.W.O.R.D.'s control, and to quote Vision specifically, a weapon to be more easily controlled. These weapons to be more easily controlled have been the entire focus of the U.S. government as they presented themselves in the MCU, starting all the way back in Captain America 1 with the Super Soldier program, then follow Thunderbolt Ross starting with the film The Hulk all the way through to the Sokovia Accords and then even more recently with Agent Cleary from the Department of Damage Control showing up in Spider-Man No Way Home, then the post credit scene for Miss Marvel, Episode 1, sorry, spoiler, if you haven't seen it yet, I apologize for that, but hey, we're literally almost at Episode 2, so kind of don't feel bad for you. You're also watching a diehard Marvel channel. I'm surprised it hasn't happened in this video already, but the pieces are now all there for the Department of Damage Control to help clean up new Asgard after Gore's attack and after they finally finish him off, and if the lightning bolt of steel alloy adamantine makes it back with Valkyrie to Earth, 
then it could easily come into the control of the US government. And look, I have no idea how Marvel Studios or the MCU are going to explain mutants, how long Logan's actually gonna have been here or been a mutant, what his story will be, or what they're going to do with the mutants or X-Men in general. Even the best scoopers have been playing this one close to the vest. We really know nothing, but what I do know is they can't have Wolverine without adamantium. And in a world in the past where Marvel Studios would have had to dance around that and only use vibranium, because it's the only thing they had the rights to, they've got the rights to everything now. They can bring adamantium into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and you gotta do it if you're gonna introduce Wolverine. Wolverine cannot be too far out. All the pieces are right there, so you have to think of it as an excellent opportunity to do the original origin of this justice. But to me, this entire theory, everything I've said in the last four and a half minutes, really leaves out one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle and something I'm actually surprised since it happened in the MCU hasn't been the major point of contention that's Tiamat growing out of the center of the Earth. Now we already know from Guardians of the Galaxy 1, just the skull of the Celestial in Nowhere is an overwhelming wealth source in the middle of the galaxy. Now, presumably we have an entire Celestial, and in a theory that would have been flat wrong had I put it forward, I actually thought that this was going to be the impetus for Secret Invasion. Finally, the Skrulls were going to see the Earth as more than just a refugee point or clandestine missions, whatever they'd already been doing behind the scenes, and try to control the Earth for controlling that Celestial. But getting super meta on you guys, and I hate to do this, not only is it going to be a wealth spring of value inside the MCU, but it's going to be a wealth spring to the writers of the MCU. New gadgetry, new tech, new superheroes. A lot can be explained when you have a ton of alien resources sitting in the middle of one of the oceans. And while, yes, they haven't explained it yet or shown a lot of the governments or the countries of the world fighting over it, I suspect it's going to be the impetus of battles here in the future. Villains like Doctor Doom have to know its value intergalactic parties have to know its value. They may choose to avoid this storyline for a little while, but they can't avoid it forever because of what we know about Celestials and what we know about what it's worth to a lot of the new stuff coming in the MCU. But I do fully expect, guys, them to use it as an explainer for a lot of new superheroes and villains, and I'm okay with that. And actually is going to work quite well because we already know we were stuck here until they explain mutants, which, guys, does anybody know? Can you put it in the comments? I swear I've had two mutant theories that I've written that I've actually debunked myself with some research. I really thought the Eternals was the place to, to go after that and they left it alone. And soon we should have Wolverine in the MCU with adamantium on his skeleton. They're going to have to explain where he's been this whole time and where mutants are. But let me know all your thoughts down below. Quickly, let's jump into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million subscribers, but we upped it to every 20,000 instead of every 100,000. Basically, it's a thank you to the community. Our next milestone is 980. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the other giveaways of the channel, all the same rules always apply. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking that out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.